In western Pennsylvania, small blue-collar towns like Trafford, Beaver Falls, and Monongahela take their football seriously. These rolling hills have nurtured a generation of great quarterbacks, Unitas, Namath, Montana, Marino. The search for the heir to this legacy leads to Penn Trafford High School, who are number 12, Tony Zimmerman, threw for 2,600 yards and 35 touchdowns as a sophomore. Uh, we were working uh, out this summer, but uh, we're still not where we should be right now. But You mean you were working out alone? Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Head coach John Yacino never leaves his star pupil's side. We still haven't uh, got to where we should be right now. And he never yeah, stops coaching. As many points as we did in my sophomore year, but uh, the only numbers we're really about is winning. Yeah, we uh, we're only concentrating on winning and losses this year, not uh, scores. Tony Zimmerman eagerly looks to a new season, but first, a Penn Trafford tradition. Each summer, Casino takes his team to a secluded mountain camp for seven days of intense preparation. Going to camp is customary in the pros. But at the high school level, only a few big-time programs demand this kind of commitment. As camp begins, Tony struggles to keep up. He's still limping after missing a full season with a knee injury. Now a senior, he's learning to play on a rebuilt leg and trying to regain his confidence. First day, you could tell there was a little nervousness on his part and my part, just to see if his knee was going to hold out. This is all nice, and we're glad to see him back and everything, but the true test is Friday nights when you're out there on the field. Tony, Tony's looking real good. Uh, he's moving, look at it, he's moving real well. In fact, he's moving a hell of a lot better than he moved as a sophomore, to tell you the truth. It looks clumsy, et cetera, but uh, all braces do. You know, you used to look at Joe Namath, he looked like he couldn't walk. For Tony and his teammates, this is a Spartan life. There are no phones and no TV, and the only music they hear comes from the mess hall. I will give a 500 bear credit for any two guys that could sing the school alma mater. Oh, remember deep in our hearts, Penn Trafford High. Up and at guys, let's go. Six o'clock, got 15 minutes. Oh. Up and at guys, Come on, let's Ed, go. we'll get up. Since 1972, yeah. I've been taking teams to this uh, camp up in the Poconos called Camp Canadensis. We go up there as a, like a raw team, and when we come back, we're ready for the battle. We're well-oiled. It's very difficult up there. We practice four times a day. We're, we're on the field at 6.30. Here comes the sun. Now the 12 minutes on time. It's on time. The sun's the only thing that's on time around here. Go, Kevin, two on the line. The bear crawls, it's become a tradition. We give them for various things that maybe a cabin uh, doesn't do. And cabin one at 3,700 the first day. They did 3,700 yards of bear crawls. That's Zimmerman's cabin. Get down, Zimmerman, you're cheating. Don't you barf on this field. Go on the other side of the road. How could you barf when there's nothing in your stomach? Tony Zimmerman is six foot three, he's 210 pounds. He has a tremendous arm. He has a real cannon. He, he has the typical Western Pennsylvania arm. He's already thrown for more high school yards than Joe Namath, Dan Marino, and uh, Joe Montana combined in their high school careers, and he did it in one year. I think he took me under his wing, freshman ball. He moved me up to, uh, you know, practice with the varsity and stuff. And uh, he, he's been looking out for me. He, he's he's kind of like my second dad. He's a good guy. Yasino knows Tony's value. With him as a sophomore, the team was 9-1. and one. Without him, the next year, they were 2-8. and eight. It was a long, long haul to get back. It was like over a year to get back to in shape and right where I was my sophomore year. At first, I thought maybe I'd have a little thoughts of, uh, I don't want to run too far, you know, get hit or anything like that, but I feel hey, it's fine now. It's the only remembrance I have of it is because I have to put a brace on every day. But, uh, it, other than that, it, it's gone. It, the knee's fully recovered. It's, it's fine. 
it's, it's forgotten in my mind. With each full contact scrimmage, Tony's knee actually gets stronger and the team comes closer together. It's good. It's good to concentrate on football for a week. Just total football. Yeah, we become a big family here at PT. No, seriously. No, seriously. I remember the fights football. at night. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, beat the crap out of each other at night. Yeah, you said let's Then see coach you. comes over here, scares the crap out of us. Run, 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 you see with your hat on? It's one on the bear cross. The guy sleeps with his hat on. Is that a toothpick? Do you guys know how to sweep the floor? Who didn't flush the toilet? Zimmerman. Zimmerman. It's 500 bear crawls. Can't believe it. You didn't flush the toilet. What do you want to live in, filth? What? Thanks, Zim. <laughs> Punk. I'm going to be a leader. On the sixth day, Coach Osino gives his team a break. Instead of morning practice, he leads them on an eight-mile hike. But this exercise has its reward. At the end of the trail is a swimming hole, where for a few precious moments, the players are back on summer vacation. Evans, jump off of the rock. Tony's one-week progress has been dramatic. His knee is sound, and the offense is back on track. Only the bear crawls get worse. And worse. What the hell are you doing? Do your bear crawls right! Get your ass down! <laughs> the camp closes with a rookie talent show. Good evening, and welcome to the dating game. Bachelor number three. Tony Zimmerman. Tony Zimmerman is an 18 year old from Trapper PA. He's a 6'3 all state quarterback. Do you like athletic women? Yes, I like women who can uh, climb through dormitory windows and scale walls and that sort of thing. As the team prepares to leave its mountain retreat, spirits are high for the second coming of Tony Zimmerman. Right now, I feel that you guys are probably have come as far as anybody's ever come here at Canadensis. It's a different story this year. We're ready to play football. I don't know of anybody that goes four days like we did up at Canadensis. And tonight's going to tell the tale. Who is ready to step forward? Who's ready to go up to the next notch? This is the game right here is going to tell us. It's opening the door in tonight's payday. Right out there is where it happens. It happens nowhere else. Let's go, boys. This is it. It's between you. Right here, right here, right here. And God. Here we go, here we go. Come on, God. Our Father, the one in heaven, that will be thy name. Thank you to come. That will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from you, amen. Kick some ass. Let's go. Ready? Right. The first test is top-ranked North Hills. Come up and hit him! First down, son of a beast. This team's psyched that we're screwing around here. He's not ready for varsity football, that kid. Kajewski! Not ready, I knew it. I knew it at camp you weren't ready. We thought, we thought. It's not your ass! You, you, is your man forever! Tony's comeback season gets off to a rocky start. All you had to do was pump him and hit him. Come on, Tony. Hold on, Tony. You can't stand there and read the label on the ball. You gotta get rid of it. And more. If I had you by the jugular vein, I'd pull it off. You don't know what it is to have guts. You don't know what it is to have intestinal fortitude. You think it's a big game out there, big joke. That offensive line should rather get their cut off than to let the quarterback get sacked. You got the body of a, of a giant, and you got the heart of a pee-pee. 
Hell, my little grandson has a bigger heart than you, and he's only two years old. We gotta start pointing out the good things. We, okay. They're down far enough. Let's bring them back up. Bring them back up. It's halftime, the first game, and already the team is at an emotional crossroad. Tony Zimmerman has worked a whole year for this game. He isn't about to quit, and he won't let his team quit either. Just do the things we know how to do. We did it in scrimmages, practices, everything. Just pick it up right now. This is only new meat on there. That's all it is. They know how explosive our offense is. Just take what they give us. Just take what they give us. Let's go! Let's go right now! We're on a move! Just There's the Tony we all know and love. That was Quentin. Let's go. Come on, think of what I'm saying. All right, Tony, you're home. Let's go. And there he is, wide open. All right, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Hey, that's all we needed. We just needed a couple plays under our belt. Quick read. Regenovich is open. Now we're there. Now we know what it's like. We're going to be there all night now. Penn Trafford rally falls short. But with their second half comeback, Tony and his teammates set their season on the right course. The team goes on to win its next 10 games, and Tony gets better each week. We're not stopping. We're scoring every time. Tony's knee injury becomes a distant memory. A season that began with doubt ends with Tony being named High School Player of the Year in Pennsylvania. We're here to watch Tony Tony fulfills a dream when he's selected to play in the annual Big 33 game between the Pennsylvania and Ohio All-Stars. Namath, Montana, and Marino all played in this game. Now Zimmerman is added to the list, joining the quarterback legends of Western Pennsylvania and Football America. He has the typical Western Pennsylvania arm. He's already thrown for more high school yards than Joe Namath, Dan Marino, and uh, Joe Montana combined. Tony Zimmerman has earned a scholarship to the University of Pittsburgh, where he hopes to follow in the footsteps of another quarterback named Marino. 